Professor Michael Ntabo Maburudu, currently the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic and Spirit and Affairs. Mine today is to congratulate all first years who have been called or chose to come to Rongo University. We are proud of you. Out of the so many who sat for the same exam, you qualified among the so many. So mine is to welcome you to Rongo University a whole mine of knowledge where you will find a conducive environment to partake all that pertains to your studies. In Rongo University as you come, you will find an environment which has uh, all the processes put in place to follow so that as you reach, you reach and feel at home straight away. There is a lot of uh, processes that you have to undertake, some of which you have already begun, for example registration. And the registration is key for you because that's what makes us know you are our student. And as you reach, there will be a process of orientation so that you are able to be taken through the various sections which will be relevant to you. For example, the library which is called to you, where you'll be attending lectures, the clinic where you'll be having your sports. So Rongo University is a comprehensive facility which has all conducive environment and uh, requisite facilities for students to learn, do extracurricular, go to church, and uh, do something which will make them come up holistically formed. So uh, mine is just to appreciate you for choosing Rongo University, and it's a university of choice. And uh, I think uh, you did not make a mistake. You will come to prove yourself that coming here, you will live better than you will come. And what is important as you come to a new environment, you must think of how you are going to create relationships. Relationships are very healthy because human beings are social. But some relationships can be very destructive. So as you come, focus, and if you have to choose relationships, Choose those which will add value to your being there here as a student. Choose relationships which will build your career for the future. And we have all the different uh, offices which will help you come up. We have the Dean of Students who has different facilities, including the issue of counseling, including the issue of sports, including the issue of uh, many other activities which are key to forming good students. So Rongo University is a good environment of town, very quiet, less pollution, conducive enough for any student who is serious with his or her studies. So I don't want to take so much. So do all that appertains as you prepare to come, but you are most welcome and you reach and feel at home. There is enough facilities to accommodate you and you should think of coming as soon as we open because we open and then no sooner we open than begin lectures. So you are most welcome to Rongo University and you should count yourself among the lucky persons to have come this side and when you come think of achieving your objective, attaining the degree. 
We graduate with the first class, not with the pass. We encourage students to work hard. Responsibility is key, and there are rules which will guide you. Longo University, like any other university, there is nothing like to tell you this is time to wake up and do this. Here, you come up and you are a proud, a responsible person. There will be a timetable which will only direct you, but nobody will come and force you to get up and go to class. So I wish you all the very best and God's blessings as you come. We look forward to meeting you and uh, talk more as you are around. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, the acting Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of academics and student affairs, Professor Michael Ntabo. As we have been told, I'm Professor Peter Lo Kisinyo, the acting Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of administration, finance, and planning. I want to congratulate all of you for having passed your Kenya Certificate, uh, Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education and choosing to study at Rongo University in the various programs you have been admitted. I know that you passed a lot of challenges, through a lot of challenges, such as coronavirus, but you endured and passed your examinations. You are here now to start your university education at Rongo University, and I wish you a successful stay and study at this institution. As we have been told, the university has two major divisions, that is the academic division and also the administrative, finance and planning division, which will support your study and offer you services at the institution. I would like to tell you what happens at the institution, at, at, the, at the institution in this division. The AFP division, as it is always referred to, uh, have the following functions. One of them is human resource management for smooth running of the university. We have the central services and operations, which deals with the repairs of equipment, maintenance, water supply that you require, energy, and central services. We have also uh, the division which handles development of new infrastructure, like, for example, new buildings. Um, the fields, like you can see, we are uh, working on the recreational facilities, like the field is being leveled, leveled that you'll be using, and also this construction of a new library. The, the, the department also handles hostels and caterings. As far as this one is concerned, we have eateries at various points where you will be taking your meals. At the same time, we also offer limited hostels that some of you who are lucky will get. And at the same time, we will also, the division will also link you to outside um, private hostels where you can stay. The division also deals with the uh, development and implementation of long-term university plans. We also offer financial services for smooth running of the institution. And in this, uh, in a number of times, you need to familiarize yourself with the financial systems of the university, of which most of them are online. But we also have officers at various points that you can consult that will help you to get the financial statements, um, which are online mainly. But if, if you have any challenges, you'll be helped so that you can be able to get, for example, fee statements, registrations, and all that within the system of the university. I want to wish you successful stay in Longo University and smooth learning. Um, within the next few years, you'll be in this particular institution. Congratulations for uh, having chosen Longo University as your university of choice to come and study. At this particular point, I want now have the pleasure of inviting the Vice Chancellor, Professor Samuel Gudu, to come and address you. Welcome, Professor. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this special opportunity to welcome you to Rongo University. We are glad that you have got opportunity to join 
Rongo University. I take this opportunity to recognize your performance and dedication to education that has earned you a place in one of the, the best public universities in this country. I know it took you a lot of time, hard work and dedication, and God was on your side, you got opportunity. You have now uh, one of the people who will be graduating in a few years to come. And this is not a mean performance. It took a lot of your time and opportunity has just been placed in front of you. As you join Rongo University, I want to congratulate also your parents, guardians and sponsors that supported your education until it has come to the point where you are now joining the university. And we also pray for them and yourself too that you would get opportunity to move until you finish your education and that you still require the guardians, the parents and all those that support you in your education and therefore I just want to pray and advise that you take, you make good opportunity that has come your way. As you look back to your performance in uh, secondary school, I would want to advise you to continue doing well the way you did because you are entering into a new phase of education where your performance, the previous performance will be required but don't spend too much time over congratulating yourself for the performance that you did in the last four years. You have entered a new phase of life. You, have, you are going to meet many challenges in, within the university. And therefore, I would want you to look forward to the new challenges. And don't imagine that if you performed well in, the, in, in, in Form 4, then you will perform well in the university if you do not listen to the advice that will be given to you by the vice chancellor, all the university staff, so that you continue doing well. I want to say that the opportunity to join university is an excellent uh, opportunity that has come your way. What we want to advise at this point in time is that university is a free environment. It is free because nobody is going to ask you to wake up and go to class. We expect you to come and attend all classes. We expect you to be responsible enough to know exactly what brought you to the university. And therefore, it is upon you individually and collectively to make sure that you follow the lectures the lecturers are going to present themselves to you and teach you, like give you lecture notes. They will be asking you to go and do a lot of reading. They will be expecting that you will be strong enough to be able to do uh, continuous assessment tests and final exams based on your reading, not only from what they have taught, but also from a lot of reading that you would do we have got a fantastic library, we have got books, we have got online materials for you to, to consult and therefore it is up to you to make sure that you take opportunity to read and then do well in your studies. The university environment, you are starting a new environment, it will not be the same like where you had been. Some of you might have not got opportunity to stay outside far from parents, but at this time, we expect you to mature, to, to mature up and be able to move forward as an individual and make your friends so that you have got support to, en to enable you to overcome the academic challenges. In the university, it is not only the academic challenges. You will meet other challenges. You will find some friends 
who you will be staying with, who do, do not, do not uh, know you. It is up to you to make uh, good friends. Make good friends that would be able to support you and you will also be able to support them uh, when they have got social challenges, financial challenges or academic challenges. I really want you to form teams that would be able to support your education. Within the university we have got we have got the dean of students that will be able to support you if you have got uh, any uh, welfare problem. We want you to, uh, to report that to the deans of schools or the dean of students. So, and even up to the vice chancellor, if it is something that you would feel that you can only share with the vice chancellor. I welcome any student who has got major challenges that cannot be, <clears throat> that cannot, that require the attention of the vice chancellor, the office is open and we will be there for you to support you. However, I want to advise that within the university there are, you are going to meet a number of uh, students. Some of them may try to lure you to join bad groups. We want to warn against any student taking illicit bruise misuse of uh, the drugs, you're not supposed to use those uh, illicit drugs. You know the government and the constitution of Kenya does not allow that. I really want to urge you to be upright because your parents and those who sponsor your education are looking up to you as somebody who will be useful in future and will be dependable. So desist and run away from friends that may lure you into bad practice. Those who may not want to go to a class every day. Those who use the drugs that are prohibited. And therefore, I want to pray for you that you do not fall into those bad traps because you have come to get education, be focused and continue doing well the way you did, and you will succeed. I want to tell you that, uh, that you have opened your door now to a higher academic echelons. I really would want to see a situation where I meet with you down the street, any street in this country, some 10 years to come, and you will be telling me, uh, Professor Gudu, you were once my vice chancellor at Rongo University. And now I'm a branch manager of this bank, or I'm the principal of this high school, or now I'm the ambassador of, 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 of Kenya to this country, to specific countries. I really want success for each one of you and all of you. And therefore, it is up to you from today to start learning and setting up your goals and strategies on how important you will be in future. Remember, this is the beginning of good things to come. And the good things will only come your way if you behave well, if you set goals, if you set strategies that will allow you to attain those goals. I want also to say that uh, in terms of academic, as you enter first years, the first four years will be ending very fast. But remember, there are opportunities even to study, go beyond the first year. And you can be able to do masters and even up to PhD. I encourage all of you to do that. So that this time round you are coming to be taught, but many years to come, you will be the one who is going to be teaching some of the first years in many years to come. So I encourage you to look forward, set high goals, and be dedicated to achieve those goals. For now, I want to also caution you because we have got a pandemic, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic, which is a big challenge to this country and all the countries in the world. The COVID-19 does not select, it is a disease that can can be contracted by anybody. I want to say that it is the way we behave that we can be able to keep safe. As you interact with your fellow students, ensure that you keep distance, you wash your hand most of the times, and also 
avoid large crowds that can that can cause uh, uh, that can make you contract the disease it is with good hygiene and self discipline that you can be able to avoid contracting this disease apart from the covid-19 pandemic there are also diseases that can come out of out of uh, sexual uh, interaction such as hiv and aids there are also uh, problems which can come out of those uh, uh, banned drugs which are not required to be taken by people like you you can have those challenges either covid or hiv or uh, the mental problems arising out of use of uh, uh, banned uh, drugs i really want to to uh, beseech you to seriously avoid those ones so that we do not lose any one of you because of recklessness or carelessness uh, ladies and gentlemen Rongo University provides environment for good environment for learning and I want you to take advantage of that form good groups that will be able to discuss issues that will be able to support your education we want to uh, tell you in time that we have got excellent lecturers we have got excellent administrators that would be able to take care of your personal and group problems make advantage or take advantage of those ones and in the next 4 uh, years you graduate exactly within 4 years for those who will not be able to to listen to the advice some of, of you may 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 graduate not exactly in 4 years and simply because you lost the way somewhere but today i tell you look forward to graduating in exactly 4 years and we are here to support you May God bless you as you study in Rongo University. May God give you grace to have good health and to be supportive of your fellow students and your parents. Thank you so much. Let me start by welcome all of you to Rongo University. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Joseph Aguio. I'm the Registrar Academic Affairs. Rongo University is 35 kilometers from uh, Kisi along Kisi Migori route. The climate is mild with the temperature averaging around 21 degrees Celsius. Uh, the university has got uh, four schools, that is School of Education, School of Arts, Social Sciences and Business, School of Agriculture, uh, Science and Environmental Studies, and School of Information, Communication and Media Studies. Uh, these schools have a total of around 11 departments uh, offering for 40 programs. As a new student, uh, you can be allowed to transfer. We have limited chances for that. Uh, if you are admitted in a program probably you don't like, then we'll give you some chance to transfer depending on certain conditions. But to attend classes, you will be required one to register as a student. Also to have a gadget for online uh, classes. We have certain classes that are full-time online. Some are blended, that is both face-to-face -face and online. And others are face-to-face. -face. Uh, what you need to do really for you to register is uh, get to our website and upload the necessary uh, documents which are there, fill them in, uh, upload them, and register. Registration process will involve you picking courses which are in our learning models and then um, registering for fee by paying your full amount uh, as required. Once you register, uh, we'll be given a unique ID number that will now enable you to uh, continue getting to our learning management system. As I said earlier, it's very, very important to know our policies. I've just hinted that uh, we require you to pay full amount 
uh, of fee per semester for you to do the exams. Uh, our regulations are really meant to help you stay here and uh, they are in the website, especially examination policy and uh, regulations. It's very, very important that you get yourself acquainted with that. It will tell you uh, what is illegal, for example, we don't allow the students to go to examination room with the phones. Uh, cheating is not allowed. Uh, you have to attend 80% of classes for you to be allowed to do the exams. You can only do the exams once you pay full fee, among other things. So you better uh, get the rules and regulations and read them thoroughly. Uh, <coughs> What again, what is important again during your stay here, please uh, know that uh, you, are be, you will be required to do continuous assessment. Uh, you will not be allowed to do the exams without doing continuous assessment. Uh, give the report required if they are there and hand them over to uh, the lecturers concerned. Lastly, let me say that uh, Rongo University is a very conducive area for you guys to study, a very friendly atmosphere and you are all welcome, especially in the Register Academics Office, for any guidance or inquiries that you might need. Thank you very much and welcome to Rongo University. Jinalangu ni Dr. Elizabeth Halili. Nasimamia school ya elimu katika choki kucha rongo. School hii inaidara tatu ambazo kwa pamoja husaidia kukuza taluma pamoja na kuwalea walimu watarajiwa idara ya kwanza ni idara inayosimamia mitala na ufundishaji idara hii inasimamiwa na mkuu wa idara kwa jina Daktari Nick Namunga Idara ya pili ni idara ya saikolojia na sayansi Idara hii inasimamiwa na mkuu wa idara jina lake ni Daktari Milan Okelo Idara ya tatu ni idara inayosimamia maswala ya usimamizi wa taasisi za elimu mkuu wa idara ni daktari Alfred Otara katika kumlea mwalimu kwenye skuli hii tunayo matarajio kwamba atafunzwa kozi kwa awamu mbili awamu ya kwanza ni kozi za lazima kozi ambazo tunazichukulia kwamba ni za kitaaluma kozi hizi zinamwandaa mwalimu katika utekelezaji wa taaluma ya elimu kozi hizi zinafunzwa na wahadhiri katika skuli ya elimu mbali na kozi za taaluma mwalimu anatarajiwa kusomea angaa kozi mbili ambazo atafunza katika shule ya upili kozi hizi zinafunzwa na wahadhiri kutoka skuli nyinginezo mbili wale wanafunzi ambao watasomea masomo ya sayansi watafunzwa kozi zao za kisayansi na wahadhiri kutoka skuli ya sayansi kilimo na mazingira kwenu nyinyi mlioteuliwa kusomea kozi za sanaa katika ualimu kozi hizo zitafunzwa na wahadhiri 
kutoka skuli ya sanaa na biashara tukijumuisha kozi hizi za taaluma na zile za masomo ya kufunza shuleni tunajitosheleza kama walimu na kuwa tayari kufunza mtaala wowote ule ukiwemo mtaala wa uwezo mwalimu tunayo matarajio mengi kwako kama walezi wako taaluma ya ualimu ni taaluma ambayo inategemewa na dunia nzima na jamii kwa jumla katika kusukuma mbele gurudumu la maendeleo la taifa lolote lile kwa hivyo mwalimu ni mtu ambaye daima anaweza kutambulika popote yalipo ni mtu mwenye nidhamu ni mtu ambaye ana uwezo na kipawa cha kuwasiliana mwalimu hutangamana na wengine kwa urahisi mno na kwa hekima kuu si hayo tu sifa ya pili ya mwalimu ni usomi kwamba uko hapa leo ama kwa shahada au stashahada ili upanue maarifa study na umilisi mbalimbali mbali, utakao kuwezesha kumwelimisha mwanafunzi katika kiwango chochote kile hivyo basi kuna budi kutalii katika maktaba yetu kutafiti kuingiliana na wenzako na haswa muhimu ni kupenda kujisomea kwa lengo la kuwa mwalimu anayejimudu kimaarifa tarajio la tatu ni kwamba mwalimu ni mtu anayeunganisha jamii kupitia shughuli za ujifunzaji tuko tayari kukulea wewe mwanafunzi wetu mwalimu mtarajiwa kwa lengo la kuhamasisha jamii nzima kuanzia pale ulipo hadi utakakokwenda unapohitimu masomo katika chuo kikuu cha Rongo kwa hivyo ni muhimu kubaini kwamba lengo kubwa la kuwa hapa chuoni ni kuhakikisha kwamba masomo yako yamepewa kipaumbele uhusiano wako na wenzako ni wa kupigiwa mfano namna ambavyo unajichukulia wewe binafsi namna ambavyo unaingiliana na wahadhiri wako pamoja na wengine wote ambao kitaaluma mtakutana itakuwa ni namna ya kuleta utangamano ili kufanikisha ndoto zako maishani katika skuli ya elimu tunaamini ya kwamba mwalimu bora ni kiigwa kwa wanafunzi wake hivyo basi jukumu kubwa ambalo liko mbele yako ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba matarajio haya yanatekelezwa kwa muda uliowekwa itakuwa fahari yetu kama skuli fahari kama chuo kikuu cha rongo na fahari kwa mzazi wako au mlezi tunapoona ya kwamba umetekeleza matarajio yetu umesoma inavyohitajika umehitimu kwa muda ufaao na uko tayari kutekeleza jukumu lako kama mwalimu katika taifa lolote lile ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kuwapa pongezi walimu wetu watarajiwa na kuwahakikishia kwamba kozi uliyoteuliwa kusomea ni kozi ya heshima ni kozi ambayo inatadhima 
ni kozi inayohitajika na binadamu yeyote katika maisha yake. Niseme kwamba taluma yetu inalea vipawa mbalimbali. Taluma ya ualimu inaandaa kila aina ya kozi, kila aina ya ndoto ambayo mwanafunzi anatarajia kujifunza anapohitimu. Kwa hivyo kulea vipawa vya wanafunzi ni furaha yetu. Ninaomba kuwapa pongezi kwa kuhitimu mitihani yenu vema na ninataka kuchukua fursa hii kuwakaribisha tena mjihisi pamoja nasi mjihisi sehemu ya Rongo University na tuwe pamoja hadi tutakapofikia kilele cha kuhitimu na hata baada ya kuhitimu masomo yetu na kozi zetu mbalimbali za ualimu fahamu ya kwamba tunazo kozi za uzamili na uzamivu kwa wale ambao wangependa kuongeza maarifa karibuni katika skuli ya elimu asante hello our dear first years 2022 welcome to rongo university orientation uh, my name is dr lame krono the acting dean of the school of information communication and media studies of rongo university i also double up as a lecturer of informatics with a bias in cyber security machine learning artificial intelligence and data science i also take this earliest opportunity to congratulate you for excelling in your kcse exams and securing various placements in our programs at rongo university and more specifically uh, on behalf of the school uh, of information communication and media studies which we abbreviate as infocoms to welcome you and looking forward to see you face to face when you come over and uh, take, take your studies uh, during reporting date infocoms as i have told you that's how you abbreviate is actually one of uh, second largest school in Rongo University after school of education in infocoms we have two departments namely department of communication media uh, and media studies aided by dr milisen otieno and the second department is department of information health records and systems aided by dr adoyo we have a number of uh, programs ranging from certificate to phd's um, in the, the two departments and from the two departments we have a total of 17 competent and qualified uh, lecturers who will be taking you various programs that you have been admitted in um, out of the two mentioned uh, departments if i may want to mention specifically uh, the undergraduate programs we have bachelor of science in health records and information management bachelor of science in health systems management bachelor of science in information science and bachelor of science in informatics from one department which i have just mentioned that is information health records and systems and in the second department we have bachelor of science in communication and media studies bachelor of, uh, of arts in linguistics and media, uh, media and communication and of course bachelor of arts in graphics communication and advertising in the coming academic year that is 2022-2023 we are going to mount short courses so as you come along you may be interested to, to know this that we are going to mount courses on videography uh, those are short courses videography photography 
and uh, editing, as well as also having Cisco Academy, where you can pursue IT-related courses if you have been admitted to informatics or information science with IT option. So as you join us, you are going to meet uh, ongoing students who are about 1,000 students currently. And so it is a very large family and we hope you are going to enjoy your stay here. In terms of resources, the school post of uh, a radio station, which we have already been given the license by Communication Authority of Kenya. And so as a journalist, you are lucky because you are going to come out of, out of this uh, school, more so this university, as a fully fledged journalist in terms of radio and TV uh, broadcasting also. We also have informatics lab, as well as a resource and media center, where you can access so many resources uh, in that place. We do have clubs and societies in the school, and we urge you that as you come, uh, make an informed decision so that you start branding your career. If you are a journalist, you start uh, going into journalism club. If you are an health record person, you know there are various programs as I have just mentioned. So make sure you do you join one of them and make an informed decision. In terms of uh, support staff, we have qualified support staff, a total of eight support staff, right from the, the school level to the departmental level. So as you come, we will have a brief face-to-face -face orientation so that you will know who is who in terms of which office and which service you get from where, as well as the lecturers that are going to take you through your programs and uh, and you will enjoy your stay here for from the time you come in up to the time that you are going to leave as a full, fully fledged uh, professional in the courses that you have been called on. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking forward to meet you face to face when, when the time comes uh, for you to come here to Rong University and start your courses uh, physically. Thank you so much, and once again, welcome, and congratulations. Greetings and congratulations on your admission to Rongo University. My name is Dr. Jonathan Mulu, the Dean School of Arts, Social Sciences, and Business. Allow me to take this early opportunity to welcome you to Rongo University and give you a profile of the School of Arts, Social Sciences, and Business. Uh, currently, the school has three departments, the Department of Business, Tourism and Hospitality, the Department of uh, Humanities and Social Sciences, and the Department of uh, Language, Linguistics and Literature. In the school, we run a number of programs where you have been admitted, uh, which are listed in the university website. At this moment, let me take this opportunity to assure you that you made the right choices in choosing Rongo University and we are proud of you and we look forward to welcoming you when you report here on 15th of August. In the school, we pride ourselves in having a team of highly motivated and qualified staff who will be working with you throughout your four year stay. Otherwise, once more, I welcome you to Rongo University and look forward to welcoming you when you report here on 15th of August. Thank you very much. Welcome everyone. My name is Dr. Francis Ongachi Olal, the Acting Dean, School of Science, Agriculture and Environmental Studies. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all first year students and congratulate you for success in your national exams. Thank you for choosing Rongo University and particularly the School of Science, Agriculture and Environmental Studies. The school has three departments and every department has various programs. So first one is the Department of Mathematics, Statistics and Computing. This department has the following programs. 
Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Bachelor of Science in Statistics and Computing, and Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. The second department is the Department of Physical, Biological, and Health Sciences. The department has the following programs. Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Bachelor of Science in Physics, Bachelor of Science in Microbiology, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Bachelor of Science in Fashion Design and Textile Technology, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Also, we are forming now the, bachelor, the, the Public Health Master's level. The third department is the Department of Agriculture and Environmental Studies. This department has the following programs. Bachelor of Science in Horticulture, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness and Management, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, and Agricultural Education and Extension known as AJED. We also have masters in plant breeding and PhD in plant breeding. We also have masters in, biology, in environmental biology and PhD in environmental biology. The school has competent academic and administrative staff with a wealth of experience in teaching research, and community service. The school has well-equipped science laboratories and farm for teaching and research. And the school trains innovative, skilled, competent science and agriculture graduates ready for employment, research, and job creation while taking into consideration sustainable utilization of resources. I want to promise you that we are very ready to receive you in the school. I have a vision for your four-year journey and master your destiny. As you begin this journey, learn your lecturers, your environment, but above all, learn to differentiate between good and evil. Once again, welcome and enjoy your stay at Rungu. Thank you. Hi, and welcome to Rungu University. I am Mr. Benson Asugo, Dean of Students at Rungu University. We welcome you to Rungu University as you join us in the year 2022. The Office of the Dean of Students will support you as you take your studies in Rungu University. In particular, we shall assist you in your personal welfare, we shall assist you on financial matters, higher education loans board, constituency development fund bursary support. We will also support every student on personal guidance and counseling matters and student mentorship. We also coordinate student personal talent development in the areas of games and sports, music and drama. We encourage you as a student, as you join Rongo University, to feel free and join a number of clubs, societies, and uh, all those other games and sports so that you promote your individual talent. Our office is located within the main campus near the university clinic. Once again, we congratulate you and we thank you for joining Rongo University. Thank you. First and foremost, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate each and every one of you because you passed your KCSE and uh, have gotten an opportunity to join Rongo University, one of the public universities in the country, and it is a gold mine of knowledge. So feel most welcome. So my name is Caroline Akinyi Chibeu. I am a clinical officer by profession been practicing for the last 24 years and I'm the head of health services here in Rongo University uh, for the past nine years. With me I have a team 
over two clinical officers and um, five nurses, one pharm pharmaceutical technologist, one lab technologist, a clerk, and three office assistants. Once in a while, we also have a team who support us, but on local basis. Now, uh, the University of Clinic operates 24 hours a day, including weekends and even public holidays. And um, we offer services, uh, basically outpatient services, now because we do not have an admission ward. Some of the services that we give include both curative and uh, preventive services. Uh, some of the curative services that we offer include treatment of minor illnesses as well as um, performing minor surgical procedures like for example if you get a cut or a wound uh, a cut we can stitch it if you have a wound we can clean and dress it yeah and um, among other services and um, some of the preventive services that we offer we, we give family planning services you Remember, not every student, uh, some of the students are actually married. So we offer family planning uh, services uh, to prevent and plan pregnancies. That also for some of the ones who are not married, but, uh, so that it cannot interfere with your studies. We also offer antenatal care, um, just in case you happen to conceive and you are around. So we offer antenatal care so that you can have a healthy life even as you carry the pregnancy. We also offer, we screen, we screen for lifestyle diseases like hypertension, diabetes, uh, obesity. We also offer HIV preventive care uh, by doing, um, we test, uh, we cancel and test for HIV. We give antiretroviral drugs to prevent um, getting HIV. That is, for example, PEP and PrEP. We also, uh, of course, distribute uh, condoms. You can access them from our clinic whenever you need them. Uh, not forgetting that we also offer health education. It is important to be informed. And uh, whatever health decisions you make, they should be coming from an informed point of view. We also have a functioning laboratory, uh, which we are able to investigate uh, common, common conditions, like malaria, we are able to test for malaria and uh, among other routine investigations. Other than that, we also offer referral services. Now, uh, we refer, uh, if you are too sick, you require an admission, we will refer you because we do not have an inpatient ward. And again, we also refer for other services which we are not able to offer. For example, dental care. We don't have a dentist around, so we can refer you for such. And also other investigations which we are not able to offer at the university laboratory, we can refer you for the investigations. And even radiological investigations like x-rays, since we do not have a radio, uh, radiological department within the university clinic. And also we have an ambulance standby in case there is an emergency which is beyond us. We can offer initial critical care and then refer you for admission where it is necessary. Now, when it comes to access of services within the university clinic, it is important to identify yourself. Um, we will therefore require, you'll be required to come with a student identity, identity card. If you do not have a student ID, you will be required to have a registered um, admission letter plus the national ID that you can use to identify yourself when you come to the clinic. And for those who do not have a national ID, because we know that there are some who come and gain access to the university when they are still under age, below 18, then you can also carry a copy of your birth certificate. It will be important for you when you are accessing the health services. It is important to note that uh, you are not supposed to pay when you come to the clinic to access health care. Uh, so when you come, as long as you have identified yourself and you are a student, we will offer you the services that you are able to offer. However, any service outside the university clinic, then we will have to call upon your parent or guardian to come in and assist to settle the bills. And in that line, we would want to encourage each and every student to at least have a minimum NHIF cover really goes a long way to assist, especially when you are supposed to be admitted. It helps to clear some of the bills 
during discharge. And then lastly, um, for students who have chronic illnesses, for example, sickle cell disease, hypertension, asthma, diabetes, such kind of conditions, please we encourage you when you report, you come to the clinic and you inform us so that uh, we can consider uh, your very specific drugs that you use when we are doing our procurement of drugs within the university clinic. Otherwise, on behalf of the medical staff working in this university, we want to take this opportunity to welcome you highly and we hope and pray that you will have a happy time in this university for the four years that you will be around. Thank you very much.